I'm Harvey Keitel. Perhaps you've seen me or heard my voice selling the Dyson Slicer, the Magic Brush, or the Amazing Record Stacker. Now get set for something new from Keitel. Keitel's Fast Talking Playhouse. That's right, classic, specially condensed for today's impatient TV viewers. Tonight, Edward Albee's classic, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Starring four of the fastest talkers in show business today. Sandy Duncan as Honey, Roderick Crawford as Nick, Barbara Streisand as Martha, and me, Harvey Keitel, in the role of George. Okay, let's not waste any time. Cut the commercial. Now act one. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf, Virginia Woolf. <laughs> what a dump. What a dump. Who said that, George? Come on, you know. Betty Davis, now Voyager, 1949. Mm. Come on, Martha, let's have a drink. No, George, we got guests. Guests at two in the morning? <laughs> Come in. Hi, Nick. Hi, George. Hi, honey. Hi, Martha. Let's have a drink and I'll tell you about our son. No, George, you promised. Here, pre-mixed. Hey, I didn't know you had a son. Sure we do, and he's coming home tomorrow. No, he is, um... Yes, he is. Yeah, I'm going to refill. Sure thing. How's your drink, honey? I think I'm going to be sick. Sick? <laughs> Take care of yourself. Hey, George, it's a pretty good drink. What's in it, huh, bourbon? Yeah, only I call it bourbon, which reminds me of a rather poignant story. Would you like to hear it? Sure. No, George. When I was 16, back during the Punic Wars, I went to a bar with a group of my friends. Oh, hey, you big uncle man. You want a bat? Sure, you got a nice bottle and everything. Come on, let's go! There was a young man in the bar who kept ordering bourbon. We all laughed because we knew he meant bourbon. But he kept ordering bourbon, and we kept laughing. Finally, he left in a hop with somebody. I think it was his father. As the story goes, the car swerved to avoid hitting a porcupine, the young man killed his father. Strangely enough, that young man turned out to be me. You should have told that story, George. Then maybe I ought to tell them about our son, huh, Martha? No, George, you're not playing fair. You can't do that. Son, I didn't know you two had a son. Ah, uh, these people are crazy. Come on, let's go. Good night. Good night. Good night. Our son is dead, Martha. This telegram just arrived. That's not right, George. You can't kill him. Yes, I can, Martha, because we never had a son. I'm tired, George. I'm tired. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf? I am, George. I am. Good night. <laughs> Pretty classy stuff, huh? And best of all, it didn't take up a lot of your time. Next week, a specially condensed 38-second version of Othello starring Red Fox. And now, since we finished early, a brief musical interlude. Well, that's it for the interlude. Good night.